My name is Scott Mora, and I am in the Department of Civil Environmental Engineering. My research interests are in energy applications like batteries, electrified vehicles, automated vehicles, and the smart grid. And more specifically, our research lab focuses on uh, a more mathematical area uh, known as controls, optimization, and generally today we often refer to this as data science. I grew up in Los Angeles, and so I spent a lot of time growing up sitting on the freeway, looking at all these cars around, thinking how wasteful is this? You know, we need to have transportation that's uh, cleaner. And so that got me into thinking about sustainable transportation, and then more generally just clean energy. And then recently, as we started come to grips with um, climate change and not just global warming, but um, global weirding in which we have weirder and weirder weather. Uh, and so, you know, I really see all these things coming together in, in our research to have impact, um, but really kind of do what, we, you know, I naturally find interesting, which is, you know, math, physics, energy. So I run a very large research lab, uh, about 25 to 30 students, and we've got maybe a dozen research projects. I haven't even tried to count because there's so many. So I'll just mention two. So number one, Slurpee V. Slurpee V stands for Smart Learning Research Pilot for Electric Vehicle Charging. We have built UC Berkeley's first electric vehicle charging station on campus. Anyone who's listening can check it out if they're on the Berkeley campus. It's in the um, recreational sports facility parking lot, literally underneath where today you do COVID testing or where the field house is, where you can play basketball um, in other times. And uh, there it's a smart charging station where we're doing experiments on pricing and how to optimize scheduling uh, charging. That's Slurpee V number one. Number two is Nexcar. So Nexcar is funded by the U.S. Department of Energy and the goal is to reduce vehicle energy consumption by 30% by leveraging connectivity and autonomy. Autonomy means we wanna get rid of the right foot of the human because that's bad for energy, letting the human do what they want by kind of optimizing how the vehicle drives. And the connectivity means talking to infrastructure. So for example, our vehicles actually can talk to the upcoming traffic signal to understand when is it gonna turn green and it'll speed up and slow down to try to catch the green wave. It's kind of hard to appreciate lower division classes because you're solving these problem sets in a week by week cadence. And you might be wondering, when in the world am I ever gonna use this? Guess what? You will remain patient. If you really want to solve these types of problems, then you can learn uh, the fundamental skills. I was an undergraduate myself. I was in the Cal Marching Band and I think very fondly about my time uh, being an undergraduate student. And the most important advice I have is have fun. Really cherish being at Berkeley, getting engaged with the university um, through student groups, through Cal Spirit activities, because um, it is truly a blessing to have the experience to be at UC Berkeley. I went to Berkeley as an undergraduate myself. I left for a while and I eventually came back. And for me, the, the students are my family. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure to watch our students who come from super interesting, diverse backgrounds that really kind of shape who they are and help them become the best version of themselves. No doubt, that is the best part of it about being at UC Berkeley.